Oh God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. Alleluia. Eternal glory of the skies, O blessed hope for all the earth, O child of Mary, virgin pure, and only Son of God most high. Extend your right hand as we wake, and help us rise with sober mind, that ardent in the praise of God, we may repay the thanks we owe. The gleaming morning star appears as herald of the light itself, and darkness of the night recedes. May holy light shine forth on us. Let it remain within our mind to drive from us all worldly night and so by cleansing hearts of sin, preserve them till the end of time. Let faith, the gift first sought and found, take root within our inmost heart, and next let hope rejoice in faith, then love the greatest gift abide. O Christ, to you, most loving King, and to the Father, glory be, one with the Spirit, paraclete, from age to age forevermore. Amen. Lord, you will accept the true sacrifice, offered on your altar. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion blot out my offense. Oh, wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done. That you may be justified when you give sentence and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. Rescue me, God, my helper, 
and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humbled contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocausts offered on your altar. Gloria Patri et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. Lord, you will accept the true sacrifice offered on your altar. All the descendants of Israel will glory in the Lord's gift of victory. Truly with you God is hidden, the God of Israel, the Savior. Those are put to shame and disgrace who vent their anger against him. Those go in disgrace who carve images. Israel, you are saved by the Lord, saved forever. You shall never be put to shame or disgrace in future ages. For thus says the Lord, the Creator of the heavens, who is God, the designer and maker of the earth, who established it, not creating it to be a waste, but designing it to be lived in. I am the Lord and there is no other. I have not spoken from hiding, nor from some dark place of the earth. And I have not said to the descendants of Jacob, look for me in an empty waste. I, the Lord, promise justice. I foretell what is right. Come and assemble, gather together, you fugitives from among the Gentiles. They are without knowledge who bear wooden idols and pray to gods that cannot save. Come here and declare in council together who announced this from the beginning and foretold it from of old. Was it not I, the Lord, besides whom there is no other God? There is no just and saving God but me. Turn to me and be safe, all you ends of the earth, for I am God, there is no other. By myself I swear, uttering my just decree and my unalterable word. To me every knee shall bend, by me every tongue shall swear, saying only in the Lord are just deeds and power. Before him in shame shall come all who vent their anger against him. In the Lord shall be the vindication and the glory of all the descendants of Israel. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. All the descendants of Israel will glory in the Lord's gift of victory. Let us go into God's presence, singing for joy.
Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him singing for joy. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Go within his gates giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Indeed, how good is the Lord. Eternal is merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Gloria Patria et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. Sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. Let us go into God's presence, singing for joy. Never let evil talk pass your lips. Say only the good things men need to hear, things that will really help them. Do nothing that will sadden the Holy Spirit with whom you were sealed against the day of redemption. Get rid of all bitterness, all passion and anger, harsh words, slander and malice of every kind. In place of these, be kind to one another, compassionate and mutually forgiving, just as God has forgiven you in Christ. At daybreak, be merciful to me. At daybreak, be merciful to me. Make known to me the path I must walk. Be merciful to me. Gloria Patria et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. At daybreak, be merciful to me. The Lord has come to his people and set them free. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Gloria Patria et Filio et Spiritui Sancto Sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper Et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. The Lord has come to his people and set them free. Through his cross, the Lord Jesus brought salvation to the human race. We adore him in faith and we call out to him. Lord, pour out your mercy upon us. Christ, rising sun, warm us with your rays and restrain us from every evil impulse. Lord, pour out your mercy upon us. Keep guard over our thoughts, words, and actions. 
and make us pleasing in your sight this day. Lord, pour out your mercy upon us. Turn your gaze from our sinfulness and cleanse us from our iniquities. Lord, pour out your mercy upon us. Through your cross and resurrection, fill us with the consolation of the Spirit. Lord, pour out your mercy upon us. Pater noster qui es in celis, sanctificetur nomen tu, adveniat regnum tu, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in celo et in terra, Panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis hodie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos amalo. God our Father, you conquer the darkness of ignorance by the light of your word. Strengthen within our hearts the faith you have given us. Let not temptation ever quench the fire that your love has kindled within us. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Dominus nos benedicat, et ab omni malo defendat, et ad vitam perducat eternam. Amen. Thank you for praying with Sing the Hours. If you want to learn more about chanting and praying the Liturgy of the Hours, please consider joining us on our Boston retreat, July 26 through 28. Visit singthehours.org slash retreats for more information.